Ultra Ball, nice. That's good for next turn. So let's go ahead and use Fast Raid. Oh yeah, 60 damage. All right, I'm gonna use Cruel Spike right now. You're confused. So now if it does try to use Tyrannical Hole, And the friendships. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on this Tuesday evening, I'll be serving you Baramosa GX. Because down below, she had 145 votes compared to ooh, Silvani, 140. Very, very small margin. Baramosa won. So we are doing Baramosa today. All right, enough with the bowl. Baramosa GX. Where do you get this card? It's not in the Crips and Invasion booster packs. In fact, let me show you. You get it from the Premium Ultra Beast Collection. $50 for the whole. A lot of goodies in there. Baramosa as well as Celestial and GX. And some of you are like, no, that's that's too much. I'm going to go down. I'm going to spend a little bit cheaper. I just want the codes only. That's okay. We can buy it on eBay. That's about $4. So it's about, if you just want the codes, four online. Sure, $4. The whole collection, $50. Okay, now those are your choices. Let's go back to Baramosa. Like, do you really want this card? pretty good. It's pretty good. Farabosa is one of the fastest and easiest GX to set up the game. She only needs two energies to reach her full max potential. Of course, there's, you know, there's something wrong with this, right? Like, how in the world can do you need so few energies? You're gonna need a little bit of help to boost it up. However, it's quite easy to do. So, Farabosa... It's pretty good. You're gonna get good value. You'll be able to take on the other decks out there in the meta with this card. So, Farabosa. You know, I'm gonna explain to you in a little bit more detail how this works. Really quickly. And you're gonna see it in four. Oh, yeah. Four awesome matches. Two of them are really short. And we're gonna, let's see. We're gonna face off our Twitch winner for that giveaway stream right off the bat. Then we're gonna face off two Guzzlords. See if they can take on Farabosa. And finally... I'll show you what the first match with this deck was really, really like. So, let us get started. Today's intro is Gamers from the Anime Gamers. Yes, romance. Between Karen and Kaita, which you probably will go see. Okay. Faramosa, let us talk about you right now. Faramosa GX. Looking at her, you can tell she's a very delicate Pokemon. Alright, she's really, really fast as well. So, she can't pack that heavy weight. So that's why she has 170 hit points on the lower end of the spectrum, silver to Coconut Master. Yes, I mean, she has to move really, really fast. Can't have the heavy armor up. All right, moving on, first attack. She's the aspect of speed. She's like the Flash in, in, in the Pokemon game. So she's so fast that she, that she can attack in her first turn. It's like, oh, everybody has to wait, but Pheromos is, no, I can't wait. Bam, on your first turn, if you go first, 50% chance. You get to attack right away for a little bit amount of damage. 30 damage that would normally never exist in any other deck, and you can increase that with a choice, man. And give her one of these. She wears it around. It's like, oh, I feel powerful. 60 damage, which severely compromises the hit point of any Pokemon. Any GX Pokemon. In fact, 30 damage is very meaningful in this game when you follow up with a big, big heart attack. So, free damage. Cannot complain. Second attack. Her blinding speed confuses Pokemon because she's just everywhere, she's behind them, on the side, she can just zip around. So, cruel spikes, it confuses them. And she, you know, attacks them, slaps them around everywhere, punches them in the back. 60 damage. 60 kind of stinks. However, the 100% confusion is big. It is very, very big. You face Espeon, everybody hates confusion. It never goes away. 50% chance is a big, 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 big debuff. So you can almost not fight Faramosa while you're confused. And 60 damage, you think that's low? Well, you remember, you have all choice, man. 90 damage, and you have these weird cheerleaders. They cheer for the grass team. Yay, Faramosa, she's the one. And I don't think I can compete this this little, little, this little cheer. They also cheer for the fire team, too. Which is kind of weird because they're weak to fire. Maybe the messages. I don't know, but this is just here to boost up Faramosa's damage. It also boosts her fast rate, but you cannot get Lurantis out on your first turn quick enough. So it's really boosting Cruel Spike, so you will guarantee those two hit KOs. Choice Man, Lurantis, two hit KOs on every Pokemon. 
All right, so final, final move. So if this wasn't already good enough, Beauty GX. When things are getting rough, when it gets intense, when you are two prize cards away from losing, that's when you really want to use Beauty GX. Then it does 200 base damage, 50 damage for every prize card your opponent has taken. So the more the winning, you have a dangerous, big game changer GX will show up. You will have a one shot. Remember, you still have Choice Man, you still have Laurentis. At that point in time, you will get that one shot. That is huge. So, it's uh, you can't do it at the start, however, at the end game when it's meaningful, you're just gonna have a one shot. She will you know, rush through victory with this big giant hit damage attack. All right, so that is the entire deck. I've explained to you all the major cards. Is there something big here that uh, we haven't talked about? Yeah, Max Elixir. She already is fast charging up, but if you want several Pheromosis, yep, you could use Max Elixirs because she only uses Grass Energy. We have 11 Grass Energies, four Max Elixirs. You could get two, three Pheromosis up because Max Elixirs don't count towards your energy limit. You just get a free basic energy for your Pheromosa. All right, I think that is it. This is a very, very simple deck, so very, very fast too. Let's get started, Pheromosa. Let me show you how good this card is. To another Pheromosa GX match. Today's winner of this giveaway is a uh, generic gamer. I'm sorry. Oh, he is generic gamer on Twitch, but he's Ultra Tangle Fox and PTCO. So congratulations. Let's get this started. All right, I'm gonna play my remix of Ultimate Battle from Dragon Ball Super. Ultra Instinct Goku. Unfortunately, Lele has to go up front. That is okay. We can make the most of this hand. Salazzle! Okay, I am weak to fire, so we'll have to see what this is. Right. I'm going to play my stadium. The energy needs to go on to, say, Faramosa. Alright, Faramosa, you get the energy right there. I could no. I could. I could likely will draw an energy. So I'm gonna pull something up. Give me this value right now. Okay, Fomantis. Let's get you out there. Let's go ahead and play Sycamore. Nope. No retreat this time. Okay, I'll play everything down though. This deck can drop. Everything which makes it good. So, and my turn there. Nope, unfortunately, Lele starts up front, but what can you do? We'll be able to use our full power next. So, Salazzle. Is this really a Salazzle? Is it trying to use Salazzle's poison effect? A Lowland Muck GX. I think it is a Lowland Muck GX. Alright. And fresh hand for me. I'm sure he does not want to do that, but. That's how it goes. Neo Lego! I bet you, yeah, if you use the Lola Muck, you definitely want a little. Yeah, yeah. Neo Lego here. Although, it's not. Well, compared to Salazzle, it's more of a one timer. DC for. Why? We're not sure of that one. Alright. I'll just go ahead and put as many energies on with my max elixirs as I can. All of them fail, bad. Oh, okay. Floatstone. Nobody needs a choice man anymore. Here, Le Le, you can fight eventually. Have that. I'll go ahead and help you out. I don't want you to be stuck like this. So in this, in this case, Madame Master, pull me one extra card. Instead of Sycamore, I'll give you a fresh free roll. This is looking like a, yeah, this is bad. So, what do I need? I need another Fomantis down. I can Ultra Ball. I have four Pheromosas. If I need them back, then I'll do that. Then I'll recycle them. We'll go ahead and get Laurentis as well. And we're gonna hold. I think the float still needed to be on the Lele, Donald. The float still needed to be a Lele, but we're gonna goose my up that up second, give him a little bit extra chance. <laughs> I don't think he should be given extra chance. This is a bad I mean comparing the side of the fields. Comparing the sides of the fields. He might need some little help there. So, okay, poison. Uh, this time the poison burn. Uh, Lele takes the hit for me. Sure! And it is 
it's definitely a lowland grimer, but this is a really slow start. So, uh, shall we shall we go forward or shall we, you know, give him an extra turn? All right, you know, at this point, I think uh, you know he, he's able to set up choice ban. N. All right, the flow is coming, but compared comparing, this is just a very fast setup from from my hand. It only needs two energies to go. We're basics. Speed is like a five out of five. This is Dark Ride Lowland GX. Yeah, and putting the DC here, I guess you could hit with Venom Shock, and it hurt really bad. So that's what he's going for. All right. So I don't have a retreat this time. I left my Lele up front as a bone. Well, yeah, as a uh, uh, parallel city. But you reducing my damage. Ultra Ball. Things are setting up on your side now. I think the next, uh... Yes, I think it's gonna show up now. Well, uh, the Lolan... He can't put the Lolan up this time. If I end him, he doesn't get to keep that. He does not. I can play an energy to retreat next turn with, uh, after the next end as well. And... Battle Shock, 60 damage. Lele's out of here. Where we want the Ace Roll of that when we get that card out. And that'll be a nice form of retreat if we can do it. Yeah, bird goes away. So I prefer not to do less damage, and I need to match my deck space. Wow, zero, zero. Okay, none of those max elixirs have worked. All right, we've just got a lot of grass energies in our back. We do have a float stone, and he may just take a free lele. Okay, this might be the last elixir. Okay. Yeah, three elixir fail. Wasn't the last one, but that was bad. I'll leave it right there. You got my Lele. You get two prize cards to start. Ooh, it's okay. We kind of gave it to him. <laughs> All right. Muck needs two more turns to set up. This is valuable. This already has evolved. He needs to get the de evolution spray this, and he needs to save this right here. The evolution spray. There we go. And if he evolves this, he can. Will we evolve? No, he's gonna wait for it. Nest ball. He's catching up now, and he gets two prize cards to start with because I put the choice man on there and decide not to uh, do anything else. It's poison, so this will land the KO on me. Baby, baby, little better shock. But still, he still needs an energy on these Grimers to set up. What do we need to do? I think the Grimers is what is, what's the threat. So at this point, we don't need to hold back. We can just go forward. That's the threat right there. We'll go for it afterwards. 60, yeah. All right. So, end of uh, end of freebies. Here we go. Let's go ahead and Guzma this out. Set our first Pheromosa into action. Throw another float stone down. Go ahead and super out this back. Let's put those energies back. Well, no wonder, no, re not really sure why they all missed. Okay, Pheromosa, you're more of a valuable card to me, so I'll go ahead and put this up here. And we are going to go ahead and use Cruel Spike. This should do enough damage with Laurentis' boost helping me out. So I'll take one prize card. Getting close in. Selendit doing the work. Yeah, man. Selendit. And all the max... <laughs> I'm going to have too many energies because I wasn't able to thin them down. I'm going to have a hand with like... Uh, this is kind of... That's really bad. <laughs> Maybe they're all prized. Selendit comes out. He's going to wear me down with poison. He's... Really, ooh, extra poison too with Soul Viper. All right, we got a Lele. We're probably gonna go Guzma. We're not gonna let him set up. I kind of hope he goes into a Lolan Golem form. So he will poison, and this will sting me for weakness damage if he attacks with the double colors. Yeah, if he somehow gets the DCE, hits it, but he's not. Thanks, man. Thanks, going nice on me. Although that, hmm, do have another Guzma. Sycamore. So Land is gonna be MVP. Totally, totally. Could it have KO'd me if it attacked me. Sad face. Looks like he was not able to set up. Do you need more help? I guess I'll take the poison. If I was mean. I would pull this out right now and finish it. 
If I was mean, I would pull it out and finish it right there with the with the Lele. I do get this here. Let's go get the Pheromosa up. Next Pheromosa up. There. He just wants his muck. I kind of want him to have his muck too, because if I don't have, if I take that away from him, that would probably just seal the face. May seal the game. He does have Drompa, but I'll let him get us a load of muck right there. I'll let him get it. So now we're kind of even more even in prize cards, I should say. Have a nice roller here to uh, save myself. We can do that. We have one max. No, oh, we have used all our max elixirs. I think none of them have hit. Zero, 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 zero. So that we could have potentially had more sparamosis up. Selena comes out. It's like yes. Weakness damage. I will. This will sting. I'm already poisoned, so the chemical breath will probably finish me off. Doesn't need that anything else. All right. Chemical breath. Let me see. I only have one special condition up, so that's enough, right? It does 80. He needs a choice band. He needs a lot more. He needs a lot more. Chemical breath. 50. Blocking me. I'm nearly dead. Nearly, but not dead. So let's go ahead, Ace Arola. Bring all these guys back up there. Buy some time. You may not be tanky, but I'm helping you out. So, Feromosa, go ahead and come down with this. Energy, cannot play an energy. You know, dump it all down. Dump it all down. Cruel Spike, now it's confused. 130 damage, two shot any Pokemons. And it's confused, and that's the big thing. If you cannot remove the confusion or retreat, you can do it. This will be okay. What do you think about the new Salazzle? What new Salazzle? Oh, the new poison one. Nah, it's a joke. But yeah, we tried it with Drumpa and and uh, and Sylviper. It didn't work. So gonna retreat with the new Feromosa. Bring this out. Buy some time. Oh, not deny me the prize card that is. No, no, no. He's coming back out again. Why? I think you need an end. Do you need an extra hand? He wants, really wants an energy or DC ear. I've seen, uh, I know one DC went down. No, 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 it's, everything's still here. Oh, gonna use the crunch attack. But you didn't need to retreat to do that. Try hazard GX. Ah, oh, yes you do. You want the big one. So now I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed, good move. So I want, if I want to save myself from the paralysis. I'm gonna have to Guzma. Let's Guzma. Pull this out. Put a fresh energy right here. Retreat. Drampa. Cruel Spike, 130 again. Two weakened GX Pokemon. And it's confused. So the Guzma was allows them to remove the confusion. That's why you did the Guzma effect. So I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in my game here too. Okay, he just wants, uh, he wants confusion is really big. It's 50% chance it'll sting. Ooh, poison! You know, I think, uh, I think, uh, whatever hurts your evolved Pokemon, Poetown, Poetown, this with Drama would be good. So following up with the end. All right, how many Guzmas we got? We used, we only have one Guzma left, and he's right there. That's the last final Guzma. Man, Donald, you have so many items on your side of the field. Yeah, yeah. It's inter some interesting consistency, but really, they're just better. There's just better. There is other stuff that's just better. So poison, I'm being burnt. Do I have an easy retreat? If I really want to, yes, I could just retreat. But I don't have an energy to attack, so... We are gonna mess around. We're gonna go ahead and use the field blower. Take away his uh, items. Do one more shuffle, giving him some extra cards, and I'm looking for the energy for mine. There we go. Energy, nobody really needs a float stone. He may remove a float stone and get me stuck, so that could be bad. So I'm gonna use Cool Spike right now. Leave my front uh, Feromosa up. And I'll take these two prize cards. It's just so strong. 
Oh, no wonder my energies were prized. That's why my max elixir is like, I can't find any grass energies, Donald. All right, I'm poisoned. Two more prize guards. He'll be able to finish this off. Take two pro prize guards. All right. So, I think this is it, Ultra Tango Fox. Maybe. Maybe. Likely. We'll see. GX for the win. You got it, bros. If he takes this, then I do a lot of damage with Faramosa. Alright, Sycamore. He gets to beat me with the Crunch. It would be better if he could have a healthy Pokemon to fight, like a Lele. But Lele wouldn't do enough damage. Crunch. And I think this is it. That is it. So, Faramosa, let's do this! Here's the biggest Faramosa attack you'll see here. That is it! Beauty GX! 270! There she is. Okay. Good game, Ultra Tangle Fox! Ah. Alright, that was that. Ah. Sorry you couldn't, uh, yeah, sorry you couldn't set up with that. Maybe uh, we can help you with the, the deck build. You know, sometimes your deck is just like that. Things just don't land right when you get to play that. That was fun. Good game, Generic Gamer. Good game to you. All right, to another Faramosa GX match. I am going to play my remix of this is Battle of a True Parent from Sort of Undertale, Smash of Undertales, and oh dear, Guzzlord! Woo! Woo! Floatstone, gonna bring that back. Are oh, you wanna you wanna eat sloppily? Oh! Oh man, the confusion better kick in with this. All right. Oh. oh. Okay, let's go ahead, Max Elixir. Yeah, it works. Now I can actually get more card total cards in my hand if I play this. But I'll get you know cards that I can actually use with Sycamore. So I'm gonna open with Sycamore instead. I don't get the retreat here. So instead, let's go ahead and get Fomantis up. Throw this card down. Do we want to recycle anything? Not just yet. We don't get the first attack. No floats on this side, but Ooh, it's Guzzlord. It is the Guzzlord. Meme deck. Well, we'll see what if, he, if he's gonna bite. I mean, this should not work if if you don't have tons of dark energies. Like we're talking 30 cards in your deck. Ultra Ball. Yeah, you're gonna try to open it with uh, this card, Dratini, Dragonair. He also has a GX attack, which is extremely dangerous, because you can win the game! Alright, Dra Dragonair is up, but the Guzzlord's up front, so how are you gonna retreat that? Eat Sloppily, he's gonna eat Sloppily! And it does work, it does work. Two of them, okay, that's what I was not expecting. I wasn't expecting too much. We may have to use this as a retreat. Probably the most reliable way to do this. most reliable way. Not the most efficient way, but yeah. yeah what can you do? Alright, Laurentis, come up. Super odd. Super odd. Get those energies back for me. I need uh, more cards. I'm sorry, Guzma. It hurts to lose every single Guzma. Every Guzma hurts here, man. So, you look like you were stuck, so I'm not gonna help you with that. I do need a uh, way to set up more my team. More energies in my hand. More, uh, more card so let's do this perfect 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 get another energy up to Faramosa it sets up so wonderfully fast Place it's all right here and we're gonna use cruel spike half its damage half its life 210 hit points so mm, not this time goes Lord not this time you know he may he still need he could get a DCE and attack me this energy retreat cost is so big, you cannot use that particular stadium. You have to use Savali for this. Alright, restoring energies back. It looks like you're stuck. You're dry. Eat sloppily. It does work. But I'm just gonna defeat this guard. You. Yeah. You, that, that, I don't think that build's gonna work. Hang on. Another Guzma. Oh, I can't lose another Guzma. I'm gonna hold my hand. 
Cruel Spike. 110 damage. We got two shot. We got confusion. That's what makes this deck dangerous. Now I kind of want. I guess I should get a shield of Slate Sycamore. If I. None of his Pokemon's are ready, but the stadium is what can defend me from uh, dying. What's Pheromos to do? Check it out. 170 on the low end. Of... Oh, not this time. Nope. Ghost Lord. Not this build. Not this build. We're going to be a little. We're going to wonder how I'm going to sum up my build, too. So. Good job, Pheromosa. So. We see yet another Guzzlord against our Pheromosa deck. Alright then. Let's see if you can set this up. Hoopa, Guzzlord. Alright. Alright. So Hoopa. Do we have anything Hoopa? Yeah, we do. We can, we can handle the Hoopa. So let's get started. I'm going to play my remix of This is Death by Glamour from Undertales. So how do we start this? We're definitely going to get the good, good nice big attack here. And what do I want to set up? You know, I do have a Max Elixir, so this is why I'm going to pull Pheromosa out right now. However, he may retreat into that, so maybe I... Maybe I should have got Banana Master. But I'd rather that Pheromosa gets this at the start. So, happy face. I'll happy face you afterwards, too. Happy face! Okay, put this to shield myself. We have tons of these. Yeah, I get a Fomentus down. And I'm going to need Banana Master's pool, so I like, love all these deck thinners. Banana Master. Here, you can have a float zone. Pheromosa, I don't really want you to get there, but I want the extra pull on this turn, so let's go ahead and do that. Ultra Ball, nice. That's good for next turn. So, let's go ahead and use Fast Raid. Oh yeah, 60 damage. So, I don't, there's, I don't think we're going to see a Tyrannical Hole or Glutton GX come down. But he does have, he does have Hoopa, so we'll, uh... Oh my gosh, you're going to eat do it. It worked. Uh-oh. Oh, uh oh too, but he can still DC and hit that. He can DC and hit that. Okay, what does that do? I'll place this. Don's gonna Ultra Ball poor Guzma, one away. Set up, uh, probably better set this up. Nah, I'll be risky because I want another Laurentis. You want two Laurentis. So here we go, but we still have Banana Master to pull our pools. Three extra cards there. Second more, yeah. Let's thank. I knew you were coming for me, Banana Master. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, and you know the Hoopa may show up, so this is why we're gonna charge him up. All right, I think that's all I really want to play. All right, I'm gonna use Cruel Spike right now. You're confused. So now, if it does try to use Tyrannical Hole, this will shield me. This will protect me. I take 30 less damage. And, and uh, it will not KO me. So I have, I have backup. I have two things protecting me. The confusion effect as well as the stadium. As I got this Guzzlord's gone. He'll try to attack anyways. And it's, yeah, it's almost, it's, it's gone. It's out of here. Banana Master, I'm ready. I'm thinning up my deck immensely. Oh my gosh, I'm almost decked out now. I've almost decked out. I've set up so, so quickly. So this time we gotta hold and be careful now. Cruel Spike, finish it off. All right, I'll take the prize cards. It's only one retreat. Banana Masters, I mean, if you send that out, that's fine. We'll just Hoopa, we'll just one-shot you with the, with the Banana Master. Three energies, eat sloppily again. Oh, this guy's, no, no, you can't. This is not how you do it, set it up. Yup, it, it, wait, wait, it's up! Oh my god, that's too many. Hey, you got it! Alright, let's see how you deal with this. Cruel Spike! 110 damage, and that's two shot. You're confused, good luck! Good luck to you, Guzzlord! Miley Vase! Tyrannical Hole! Oh! It pierced through! But thank you, Stadium. Protects me. It protects me. Well played already? Okay. He's got nothing left to fight, so I'll go ahead and take that. I'll put a sad face down there. I will take uh, two more prize guards. Nope. Mm -mm. That's not how you set it up. No, do you know how to set it up? But well, we'll see, we'll see. That's that's for me later. 
that's for me to do later. So all I gotta do is retreat into my Banana Master. Oh, oh you don't have enough, he doesn't have energies, but... Banana Master will hope severely compromise him. And yeah, wow, that was a fantastic setup. Bridget, it's like, I'm gonna get more Pokemons. Nope. Hard face, no other Pokemons down. And that is it, I will finish it off. <laughs> Good game, this time. No, Gus Lord. Okay. Okay. Very, 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 very first Sferamosa GX match. Psychic. Espion Gobbledore, come on, let's take you on. Confusion versus Confusion. Actually, what's the spell? What do I have to deal with that? Oh, it's a Drampa. That's a lot of draw supporters in my first hand. That's good. So, let's get started. I'm going to play my remix of You Say Run from... Mm, oh my god, Hero Academy. There we go. Energy goes unto you. This hand kind of sucks, so I'm going to go ahead and just straight end this. I kind of need, uh, need them later. But we'll go ahead and see what we get. Oh, it's Axel also a GX Pokemon. Yeah! Now this is a better hand. Alright, Choice Man, Pheromosa, Banana Master. Alright, we're going to fast raid. Boom! You're near 60 damage gone. He's like, what? What? What another energy we... No, we can't evolve anything right now. We don't have any bonus. So let's see, what does Beauty GX do? So it's really strong when my opponent's winning. So I have to wait for them to be winning. <laughs> Alright, so it's like, uh-oh. Floatstone. Okay, so now I have to pull out my own switch if I have to do, want to attack. So now he'll probably open up with a GX. Big Wheel GX! We could end for a retreat. And we could hit him with a Confusion. Or we could Guzma this. I'll let you keep your good cards. I can Guzma myself too, right? See? This will hurt my setup quite significantly. If I can shut that down, that'd be good too. How much damage do I do? 60. Bring out the Farabosa. I didn't trust pulling the, the, the Floatstone. Oh wow, three Sycamores! Like, we're gone, doll. We're out of here. Let's go ahead and use Cruel Spike this time. Alright, he's like, that's gone. We can, that's worthless. I don't need it anyways. So, with uh, Garbodor up, however... Oh man, with Garbodor up, we're gonna have a... Uh, none of our damage boosts will work, so it's pretty much three hits. So, I wanna finish this off. Put a DC here. If he gets to retreat this, he can do a lot... One shot, he'll one shot Pheromosa, which is a very bad. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's hope he doesn't have a float stone to, to bring that back. Otherwise, you know, that's a big hand. That is a big, big, big hand. I guess I should have dealt with the threat, but I didn't have a... Yeah, just leave it out there. It's just Banana Master. You didn't have to do that. So, Garbodor up, shutting down all abilities. No extra pulls, no nothing. So that's no Lele's for you as well. It's like, I don't need it. See if he has a retreat, though. That's really bad if he has a retreat. Really, really bad. If he doesn't, great. We're saved. We're safe for a turn. Nope, but he's like, I will one-shot your other Pheromosa. But that means our charged-up one is okay. That's good. One-shot Pheromosa. We do not have a stadium to protect that. So that's why, yeah, the stadium could be... is very useful. All right, no Lele's for you, but you have a nice hand, so... All right, I gotta... I want to charge up a Pheromosa, not any of the other cards right now. Bingo. We need another Pheromosa to come up now. There's the stadium. There's another energy. Here's a floatstone for you. That's all I can do. Do I want to play Super Rod right now? Ah, you know, nah, let's go ahead and do that. I can't pull any more cards now, but that's fine. We are gonna go ahead and use Cruel Spike. Half damage and you're confused. Yeah, it's like a big powerful Espeon here. Woo! So we're gonna have to Goose must finish these guys off eventually. And Floatstone, Oh, That's bad. That, now he has a one-shot because of the stadium. But I I guess I have Pheromosa if I have something to evolve to play it. Energy. So let's better hope for Tails, man. Like if it's Tails, it's gonna be a big make a huge, huge difference. And oh, thank you for the extra cards. He still has a chance. He still has a chance. I still can't pull this. Now I have energies. Oh, it 
made the difference. Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! Let's go. Do I want to discard my en remaining energies? You know these are my last attackers. Screw it. Give me the Fomantis. Give me something else now. These are my last attackers. Uh, Fomantis, go ahead and come down. I can't... You, he cannot play Lele. So I'll go ahead and play one more end. I get the full max value out of this. I can tour remove your cards if I really want to. No, I want to keep that on you. That's bad for you, not me. Take away your stadium. Cruel Spike. It made the difference. Big time. Alright, take a look at the item count so far. By the way, the Garbodor may show up. One, two, three. Three. Oh, right, he do 60 damage. He's like, please kill this card. It's so bad. Alright. Sure. Now, who's gonna charge up next? Probably Lele. Woo! Okay. Bring back uh, another Drampa. A fresh, healthy Drampa. We're gonna need to Guzma that one out later. No, we all have to. We'll have a. Uh, we'll have our GX up soon. So N. No, everybody gets four cards. I kind of wanted to use my Fomentus, but now you know you have to Guzma this out. Oh, hey Guzma. Hey Guzma. Okay. What do we do here? You know we have to Guzma this, so we'll bring this one out, and we'll send uh, the one that doesn't have the. This, make, bring that card out. Nana Master, come back here. Lele, you be my uh, backup attacker. Good. Now we're gonna just finish it off with a Cruel Spike. Or Fast Raid, does not matter. Alright, we'll take those two prize cards. Yay! So now he does not have a weakened bench Pokemon anymore. So this this uh, will not activate. The Berserk will not activate. And not let him get a one-shot. Although the Stadium is defending me. So Sycamore, how is item count so far? One, two, three. Three. You're not getting any value of that Garbodor there. Alright. The confusion. We still have confusion. We he's taken only two prize cards, so he only does a hundred the beauty only does a hundred damage, but two hundred will be big. So Garbodor's like, hey, I'm ready guys! Uh, you know, we don't have to play any items whatsoever. We're good. We are totally good here. I'm gonna do with I'm gonna hit him with confusion again. Yep. Kind of what did my hand for uh, Guz last Guzma. Berserk could retreat if I want to. Or expose it. Why not? Don't get you a preo. I like my hand the way it is. You know, let's go ahead and get some value out of this. Perfect. Why not? We have so very little energy cost right now. So I'm going to use Cruel Spikes. Deal with the confusion there. That's going to, uh, well, I've denied him. I, I guess there was, a, there was a, if I attacked him, I would have had a two shot to end the game. Oh, that weakens him, but he is confused. That's okay. I still have my GX attack. I still have my GX attack. <laughs> so if you kill me, no, you can't kill me. You can't. You cannot defeat me. Super odd. Alright. Alright. Yeah, I'm not thinking of uh, the next guard. Heads, it goes through. 150 damage. Lucky you. So now I would have ended the game if I had not swapped. But that's okay. We'll cruel spike again and see what, what he does. Okay, cool spike again. Leleys, if you're, if he probably does have two more leleys, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with, with where I am. And I not retreated. Got the chaos, like I'm ready to go. So we'll let's see what he does. I'm two prize cards away. I just want this right here. I'm gonna have Guzma available if he takes the ca if he takes something. So he should retreat and finish me off. But the game, it should be game. It should be game. There we go. You can't let that there. 20 damage, you'll finish me off, and I'm just gonna lay lay for the Guzma. Which I don't know is there, so we'll have to wait and see. And then he'll maybe, if Guzma is not there, then we are in trouble. Then we have lost. We, we, we were playing to, uh, to, uh, 
silly. 70 damage. Alright, Guzma, if you're there, you just gotta be there, man. Guzma. Oh, it's activate deactivated. I can't do it. That's right. Oh yeah, that's right. Guzma. I was like, what the heck happened? I gotta fish for it now. I may have thrown the thrown away. Hang on. Did she exit for 200? Yeah, it's really, really strong. I do have Acer Roller, that would be very useful. Ne Let's confuse it. Confuse it right there. He still has his GX. I mean, he's still... I mean, if he gets this charged up, he can slice off my Pheromosa. Yeah, there we go. We're trying to charge that back up. I, unfortunately, cannot, uh... Guzma the last. Alright, he's pulling, he's shuffling, he's shrinking our hands. We got nothing left. I don't have Acerola this time. I do have the Stadium. So that wouldn't help me. Crash Lanch. It, no, it got to KO and it took me out. Lucky! Ah! Not bad, the first jump. I made a lot of misplays there. I made a lot of misplays with the Lele not being able to get the Guzma out. Still. And I also did, took away the Choice Man. The Choice Man! I should have go for a straight two shot on it. Ah. Alright, Donald! That wasn't so bad! But, uh, we gotta go out, we gotta... Well... Looks like you kept up with Paramosa. And made it to the end. Thank you. Congratulations! It is time we rate this deck so unique trait! Paramosa, what makes you special? is your very fast setup speed. You only need two energies to max out, and that's something other GX Pokemon just don't quite have. However, they can keep up with other trainer techs as well. Say if I was a Tapu Koko, no, I may need an extra max elixir, but still it is possible to fully charge up your G other GX Pokemons. Just cause, even though she is a bit faster. But keeping up with her, possible, just a bit harder for other GX decks. So, as terms of power advantage, no, but setup speed, yeah, definitely. Four out of five. Because other decks can't potentially keep up. They just work harder. Damage! How good is Pheromosis damage? With Choice Man, with Laurentis, it is average. You get a two hit with your second attack. One hit KO later in the game, so it's hidden back there. Boom! You know, that's what most GX Pokemon should have in the meta. 4 out of 5, average, good enough. Speed. Basic. No evolutions. 2 energies, max elixirs. 5 out of 5. One of the fastest, easiest setup. You will set up. Your opponent expects you to set up. You will be there. And ready. Okay, and finally, defense. 170 hit points, kind of stinks. It would get a lower score, but it was compatible with this. With Fighting Fury Belt, we have ways to protect it. It exists, so therefore... Therefore, it's going to be a 4 out of 5 average. Nothing special, nothing above. No non-GX attackers, no healing. 4 out of 5, but you do also have Confusion. Those, that's an extra defense. That's not quite a... You know, can't really quite rate that, but it's always there. 50% chance. That's also keeping her alive. Overall... 4 out of 5, you can still outplay this, remove the stadium, retreat, get rid of the confusion, and if you have overwhelming damage, you know, it can be countered, there's counterplay, but that's fair, that's reasonable. Overall, what is Donald's final rating? What does Donald think about this? 4.7 out of 5. The most beautiful thing in Pokemon, the most critical thing, is reliability. This is reliable. This is very, very, very reliable. I will give extra points for that. 4.7 out of 5. Finally, weakness! Is there any weakness to this? Yeah, she's kind of squishy. You have extreme damage and you can overcome these, uh, the, the confusion, the stadium. She will just get explode. However, she can have a comeback, you know, with through confusion, beauty chick. She's not out of the fight yet. And finally, status removal. Is that out? 
Yeah, there we go. Let me fix that for you. Status removal of you. Denier from confusion. That's going to weaken her quite a bit too. So counterplay is a bit fair for this. All right. And upgrades. That's quite good as is. I think Dimitri Kotalian says you should put more shadow so you can hit for weakness. Yeah, now you have a fighting pheromosa that does not benefit from uh, Laurentis. Because more shadow is a fighting type. Okay, so that is it for now. What is up for next time? I have a budget beware deck as well as that Reggie Rock Silverlight deck. Actually, it's all three Reggies. All three Reggie. So Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. I just only have Reggie for here. So you can choose if you want a budget deck, which means I won't be using any GX Pokemons. Or that one, Silverlight GX. Alright, that is it for now. I think anything you want to say? Sure, sure. Totally like, totally subscribe, because you know you want to see more videos just like this. Follow me on social media. I'll give you clues when I'm streaming. When new videos are coming out, you can chat with me in Discord and everyone here that you see in the video. And, uh, yeah, remixes can be found on Spotify, iTunes, wherever you like to stream your music. They're there. I had some new ones earlier this, earlier last week. And working on new ones right away. Okay, next video is tomorrow. And I have other secret YouTube channels where, if you really want to see what I do every day, yeah, I do vlogs for that. So here I'm doing this, here I'm doing this, yeah, it's totally interesting. And I do play other games on the side. You no, know, Pokemon all the time. You, know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta switch things up. And now we're doing Mario. Probably, for me, I'm gonna play Mario in about a couple, couple, yeah, about an hour. So, that is it for now. Thank you very much, Integrals and Differentials. I will see you guys next time for Beware. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.